Thing is more, the energy is stored in a capacitor. How much energy is going to be stored in capacitor? So the question number is also important for five marks because it is a derivation. So question, uh, the, what we uh, what is here thing is that the energy how the energy is stored or oh, sorry what is the energy is stored in the capacitor how much value so to understand this we need to begin with the simple steps again basic formula is important so first we need to consider diagram is not necessary but it is better it is very simple diagram just a single capacitor and and just a whole uh, energy source energy supply that is a voltage a battery V is applied to this capacitor now the capacitor gets charged and the charges are stored Ch get charged means the charges are stored on the capacitor ok so how much the charges are stored means some work is done so that work done is nothing but the energy we know that from the PVC first year that whatever the work is done in a, doing some the energy spent and that energy may be preserved that is may be stored or may be spent as a kinetic energy so here the energy is utilized to store the charge so in the form of charge the energy is stored so how much energy is stored let's find out okay so title says uh, potential energy or energy stored or energy stored in a capacitor energy stored in a parallel plate capacitor actually parallel plate capacitor so how much energy is stored ok so for this we need to consider a capacitor consider a capacitor of capacitance C is connected to potential difference V. Okay, so connect. Now the capacitor is charged. Now when the capacitor gets charged, so charges are transferred from one place to another place. So one plate uh, this negative part of this battery the electrons are started move to here so that is what work is done the electron the charges negative charge means electrons so those negative charges are being transferred to the this side plate so that is the work done the charges are stored so how the charging works let's see so here is a pulse, negative terminal positive terminal so it will be the negative and negative uh, positive how let's see so one electron for example for movement one electron gets tran transferred yes it is going to be transferred and it is going to be stored here so one electron is stored on that plate earlier there was no electron no charges so the capacitor was completely neutral now it is one charge is stored because of this negative and this positive the force is Force because of this four electrostatic force, the electron is going to move here and place there. Why it's not going to cross that here? Because here nothing, no medium is there. You can consider vacuum or you can consider dielectric medium. But dielectric medium is not going to transfer the charge. It is insulated. So because of that, the charge is going to be stored on this place. And because of this negative charge. This charge affects the charge to produce the positive charge here. To produce the positive charge here. So positive charge is produced. Produced means what? One, the electron in here. For example, there are a pair of electrons and uh, atom. The, uh, sorry, the electron is removed from the atom and it will start moving from here to here. Now positive charge is produced. Positive charge, positive charge, positive. How many charges stores that much positive charges or positive charges produced? This is how the capacitor charge. Okay. So for moment, a small work done. Okay. So this is capacitor connected to the potential V, and so therefore, so V is equal to V is equal to Q 
by C. So be because of this potential, this is charge, this is capacitance. Okay? So this is what we call. Now consider now a small amount of work done. Work done in a story. What is a story? In a story. Small charge DQ charge is DW is equal to as per this definition. As per this definition, we get W is equal to Q into P. So from potential definition, we can write this. Now this formula we are going to use here. So DQ is equal to dq for small for charge potential. why not dv because the potential applied is a fixed is a constant so it is not going to be dv so it is only be constant okay now this is a small work done to bring this charge now what happens when all the charges so what is the total work done in bringing all the charge so let's find out now integrate the the total work done in a storing storing 0 to Q charge is 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 W is equal to integration of this small work done 0 to Q. Meaning of this word, add small such work done, add all small, small such work done to charge uh, to store these charges and you will get 0 to Q charge, total charging storing capacity will be W. Okay? So this is the total work done. Now put the value of B W in this equation. Where? Right? Yeah. Here. So put the values of put the value of B W here. So 0 integration 0 to Q. Why 0 to Q? Total charge. From beginning value of charge is 0 and total charge value is Q. So DW value is V into D. Okay. Now what is the V value from this equation? Q by C. So DW is equal to 0 to Q, Q by C. Remember, you can put this value here, here only and rearrange this equation, you will get Q by C into D. It's a matter where you add the values. Okay. You can do here or you can do add here. Nothing will be changed, okay? But you need to remove the V. Why? Because charge is going to be varying. Not V, not C. V and C are not going to change. Only the DQ value is going to change. Only the charges are going to change. How? 4 charges, 10 charges, 1000 charges. It depends on how much charges you are going to store. So what we are going here doing here? All charges we are going to store. And all how much? Capital. So that's why we have to take, uh, remove V and uh, why V? We have to remove the V because it is constant. We have to uh, consider Q because which is going to be variable. And that is going to tell us how much M is going to be stored. So W is equal to take this C outside the integration and Q V. I hope you know the integration of this term. So that in Integration will be sorry. Next step is integration. So integration will be q square divided by two zero to q limit. Now put this take this one, two outside the bracket. You can do it. No worries. Q square zero to q because it is a number. You are not going to put the values of zero, uh, this limit in the place of two because it is constant. Q is variable Q. So take two outside. Now put the value of put the value of 
limits. So it will be Q square minus zero. Okay, now rearrange this situation. Now rearrange this equation. When you rearrange this equation, you will get W is equal to W is equal to Q square divided by 2C. So this is the work done, total work done in the storing the total charges Q. Now this work done is considered or is stored as the energy and that stored energy is called potential energy. So this work done is stored as energy. Therefore, U is equal to, U is what? Potential energy. U is equal to Q square divided by 2C. So, this is a required equation. But another form of equation, we must write in a potential form. So, that is how, what? We can write C a Q is equal to C into V. Put this Q value here. So, U is equal to, if you put this value, Q value will be C square V square divided by 2C. So, C, C get cancelled. So, U is equal to half of C, V square. You will be asked to derive the equation either in this form or in this form. If they mention specifically to derive this, you will need to solve up in here. If they ask generally to obtain the potential energy equation, you can solve up to here. Not, is, not this is necessary because you have found the energy equation. That, that is the required equation. So either this form or this form. Remember, potential energy stored in a capacitor, single capacitor is this. U is equal to Q squared divided by 2C. U is equal to half of C squared. Why I am stressing this equation? Why I am telling, explaining more? Because they may ask numerical problems about this number equation okay understood okay so this is what the potential energy is for in a capacity now next what we are going to solve is a combination of capacitor what we are going to learn now a combination of capacitor so what what is combination of a capacitor let's see so capacitor, this is a single capacitor. So it has two n, one n, two n, second n. Now we can connect another capacitor to this capacitor. So, so what happens? Two capacitor connected. What if I am connect another capacitor here? Yes, something will happen. So what it is called? This is called combination. Suppose if I connect the two capacitors like this. If I connect two capacitors like this, something will happen. If I connect this capacitor like this, third capacitor, if I add one more capacitor to this here, again. So this is called combination. If I connect the capacitor here also, I can connect here. I can connect this. This is called combination. So there are only two combinations which are common here. So this is complicated combination, which is not the for our syllabus. This is a basic combination and this is also a basic combination. So what basic combination? Capacitors are connected in this form. Capacitors are connected in this way. The way of connection we will see later. So this is one combination. This is second combination. Okay. okay. So here in this combination we will come across a word equivalent. equivalent capacitor or if equivalent effective capacitors or we will come across equivalent if, if equivalent effective capacitors or equivalent capacitors so what do we mean by equivalent the equivalent meaning is what if we connect the capacitor four capacitor one two three four if we connect the four capacitors in this combination what if there is a single capacitor which has same value of these four. Meaning is what? 
if I connect to a single capacitor instead of this in four capacitor. So that is this single capacitor is called equivalent. So what do you mean by equivalent capacitors? A single capacitor which has the same value as the combination of multiple capacitors. The single capacitance which has same value as that of the combination of a different value of same value capacitance. Understood? That is called equivalent capacitance. Okay. So first combination what we are going to see is a series combination of capacitors. First combination. Series combination of capacitors. Capacitance of a capacitor or a capacitor, okay. So, here, <coughs> so combination of capacitor. So, here, series combination. So, series combination, what is series combination here? If this is a capacitor, if I connect another capacitor to the end of this the first capacitor, and if I connect another capacitor to the third uh, the end of the second capacitor what I have done if I connect a capa second capacitor to the end of the first capacitor and if I connect third capacitor to the end of the second capacitor so end to end end to end connection end to end end to end combination is called series combination you will come across in a third topic combination of resistance same combination so what it says, it says end to end connection of a capacitance, a capacitor is called series combination of capacitor. So how many capacitors are connected? Four. So four are connected in series combination, end to end, end to end. So this is final end, this is final end. Right? So this is series combination of capacitor. You can connect n capacitors. Okay? It depends on the situation. Okay. So this is series combination of a capacitor. So what is the definition of series combination capacitor? A com uh, so <clears throat> when more than one capacitors are connected to end to end, then such combination is called series combination of capacitor. Okay. Now consider. So, to solve this theory, to get the formula, to get the formula for series combination, we will consider basically two capacitors connected in series. You can consider three, no worries. But I will take two. Three also is possible, two is also you will. Both, everything is same for solving two or three capacitors. Okay. Three means extra capacity will be there, extra term will be in the derivation. Okay, let's see. Consider two capacitors. C1 and C2 are connected in a series combination as shown in figure. Actually, combination across, we must apply a voltage across. Now this combination is called 
series combination of quantum state connected to the potential. Now, actually, theory says the potential across this four C1 is a V1. The potential difference across this capacitor is a C V1. And the potential difference across this capacitance is a V2. Why the two difference potential? Because terminal. So V is what potential difference between two terminals. Two terminals. So this is the one terminal. This is second terminal. So potential difference between these two terminals is a V and this is V. So difference between two terminal. Difference between two terminals. Potential difference between these two terminal V1. Potential difference between these two terminal V2. So this potential difference is important. Okay, why to derive the derivation? Now this is called series combination. In this series combination, what will be the changes we will see? Okay, as I explain the charging. So charging how it happens? When positive negative charge comes travels from here to here and it stores positive negative charge here. From this negative, an electron travels up to here stores here. It cannot travel from this empty space or whatever the dielectric medium. It will be stored here. So because of this negative charge, a positive charge will be developed. How? As I mentioned, a electron will be removed because of this force. Force of attraction, the electron from this place is removed and it will travel to here. The electron will move, move from here, from this place to here. Why? Because of this force of attraction. And here the force of uh, repulsion and the force of attraction. So here positive is developed. So the removed electron will travel up to here. And it will store on this plate. So because of this negative charge, the negative ch charge from this plate will travel up to here and it will normalize here. But because of this negative charge, electron is removed from this atom. So this atom becomes positive charge. Why I am explaining this? Because how many electrons are stored here? How many positive charges are produced? For one electron, one positive. For one, one. So what is the meaning of this? On both the capacitor in a series combination, charges are stored same. In a series combination, on each capacitor, the charges are same. That's why I am telling If it is say negative electron, two, two electron will be here, two positive charges. If it is three, three positive. 3, 3, 4, 4, 4. So, what is the meaning of this? What I am trying to explain here? Here in the series combination, the charges are stored on each capacitor are the same, even their capacitance capacity is different. Look at here C1 and C2, but why charges are same? Because of this combination. Because of this combination, the charges are same. Even their capacity is different. Understood? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so this is how charges. So because of this reason, we can write the potential difference across the combination. This is across the combination. Now, we need to find V1 value and V2 value in the form of C and Q. So, this is Q, Q, Q. Okay, same charges, but V1 is a V1 is equal to Q divided by C1 and V2 is equal to Q divided by C2. Put this value here. Substitute in equation 
1. So V is equal to Q divided by C1 plus Q divided by C2. Right? Now Q is common. Take it common. 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. Bring this Q to the left side. So V divided by Q is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. So what it telling? What it says? V divided by Q. So what is that? From the basic formula of a potential and capacitor definition, Q is equal to C into V. We know this formula in the beginning of the, this topic. Okay? Q is equal to C into V. Sorry, I'm not in the beginning of the whole topic. So in the beginning of the definition of capacitance. What it says? So Q is proportional to V. So Q is equal to C into V. This is C is a constant and known as capacitance. Uh, Proportionally constant that is capacitance. Now from this formula, what we can write is a Q, uh, sorry, uh, V divided by Q and take this C onto the left side, it will become 1 by C V by Q. Right? So this is the formula. But it is this potential is applied to whole combination and this charge is same on whole combination. So what we can say. This is giving the value of whole value of a combination. It is giving what? Whole combination of value of whole combination. Okay? Equation 2. You can do same thing from here. You can substitute the V value by this way also. No way. Okay? <coughs> okay. So V, uh, v by Q. Since V is equal to Cs into, sorry, since Q is equal to Cs into V by definition of capacitance, we got this formula. Now, from this formula, what we can write is 1 by Cs is equal to V by Q. So, put this value in our equation. So, equation 2 can be written as 1 by Cs is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. So, what is Cs? It is a, Cs is what? It is the capac equivalent capacitance. It is an equivalent capacitance of combination. Now, this is equivalent. Here, now we need to draw equivalent capacitance diagram, which is connected to this. So, what will be here? So, equivalent capacitance is what? It is the same value as total values of the combination. So, instead of these two combinations, I can write only one thing. I can take, I can use only one single capacitor like this, and that is. Cs in look at it. The, the circuit is shortened because the, the elements are reduced to single element. So this is how this is the equation of series combination of capacitors are connect, uh, connected. The capacitors connected in series combination, you will get this equation. Okay. Now there are important notes about this equation. What notes are important? Conclusion. So this ratio, this ratio says reciprocals, reciprocals. So this equivalent capacitance is not directly equal to sum of these values. It is a reciprocal. So this equation says reciprocal of reciprocal of equivalent capacitance is equal to sum of sum of reciprocal of individual capacitors what it says reciprocal of equivalent capacitance is equal to sum of reciprocal of individual capacitor okay this is what it is telling now 
one more important thing is what what will be the value of cs compared to these values so this says this value cs is always smaller than smallest value it is what it is always smaller than smallest value in the combination okay i will explain i will explain that before i would like to explain one more thing what if i connect third capacitor if i what if if i connect third capacitor so what will be the potential what will be the equation charges will be the same q will be there so again same method v1 plus v2 plus v3 so v3 is equal to q divided by c3 if the question ask for three capacitors in a combination you can just replace this way okay plus q divided by c3 here 1 divided by c3 here 1 divided by c3 again 1 divided by c3 look at it what changes nothing changes only extra term is added if they ask two mass question same steps if I ask there for three, so if they ask for two uh, capacitors combination, same method as three, because nothing is going to change. Only the terms are going to be extra or removed. That's it. Understood? Okay. Now the important thing was what is the uh, value of equivalent capacitors? So if you see this combination, if you see the combination equation. So what combination equation says? 1 by Cs is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2. I will take, okay, 3, consider 3, no worry, 1 by C3. Now take, for example, C1 value, C2 value, C3 value. Take any value. We will consider C1 value as a 1 microfarad. C2 value, okay, uh, 2 microfarad, 4 microfarad and 6 microfarad ok you can choose your own values I have chosen 2 because I will tell you why ok so this way now put this value in this equation 1 by C1 value 1 by 2 1 by C2 value 1 by 4 1 by C3 value 6 now calculate this 1 by CS yes is equal to hmm, 3 6 1 by 6 plus 1 by 4. So what happens? 4 by 6 plus 1 by 4. So 16 plus 6 divided by 24. So 1 by CS is equal to uh, 22 divided by 24. Okay? <clears throat> okay. Now this real is so CS is equal to 24 divided by 24. Now if you divide this term, what will be their value? 1 point some fraction. Is it going to be 2? No. 22 is 44. Is it 44 value? No. It is 24 by 22. So meaning of this word, the calculation you will get 1 point some fraction. It is not a 44. Why? Why it 44? Because 22 is a 44. If you have a problem, you can see the same thing. The same thing is the same thing. The same thing is the same thing. The same thing is the same thing. So, why am I telling that? Because I want the main value that is 1. It is not 2. It is less than 2 and what is the smallest value capacitance of our combination? 2 microfarad and how much we got? Less than 2. So equivalent capacitance, the CS value is always the smallest. Smallest than whom? Smallest value than the combination, in the combination. E combination taga, yes to kadimu value the other kitana kadimu combination value bhaktha. Have combination with the Sagrada value coming to play, the Japeksha e coming value, the equivalent GMT. Dusri value check, check the 
सगा सेम घर का फॉर एक्जाम्पल इफ यू चूज टू 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 हाफ प्लस हाफ प्लस हाफ कि हाफ के लिए तीन हाफ मे दीड दीड मैं देते सो अगेन इट विल बी लेस देन हाफ वाय चेक आउट ओके इफ वी चूज सेम वैल्यू टू माइक्रोफाइल टू माइक्रोफाइल वॉट विल बी दे सो इट विल बी थ्री पॉइंट वन प्लस वन प्लस टू ओके वन पॉइंट फाइव Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. So this is just reverse this because we want the series, not reciprocal. Two by three. So calculation of this two divided by three. In sign of zero point six. Okay. This might be wrong. Okay. This might be wrong. No, no, no. It is not wrong. Zero point six. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. You will get zero point six. And what is the value of the each capacitor here? Two microfarad, two microfarad, two microfarad. It is less than small less. Understood? So equal the capacitance in the series combination is always the smaller. But don't get confused with the resistance. It is exactly reverse. It is exactly reverse in a resistance. Understood? I hope you understood this. Thank you so much. Stay home, stay safe. I will continue the next combination in the next class. Thank you.